Hey guys, welcome to Gearing Up. This time I'm going to show you how I have found the easiest way to tone match on the XFXs and how I tone matched my Mark 525. So the first thing that you want to do is you're actually going to go on and you're going to record you're going to arm your guitar track and you want to set up your cabinet and your microphone and your real amplifier to get the best recorded tone that you possibly can. So you're going to go through and you're not going to see any wavelengths pop up because I'm not going to record anything, but what you're going to do is actually start recording and start playing your guitar. And this is going to be the best tone that you can possibly get recorded via microphone, via amplifier, into your DAW. So we're actually going to let this go for a little while, and I found the best practice is to not palm mute and to not do a bunch of pinch harmonics and lead playing and stuff like that. Just play some open chords, let it get a sound of constant guitar, don't do any stops or pauses or anything like that. Alright, so we've let that go for a little while. And then what we're going to do is say that guitar track was armed for recording the microphone. This one we're going to arm and say that it is recording the axe effects which I have plugged into input 4 on my interface. So then this is the easiest way I found to do it. Go up to system preferences and go into sound and on the output we're going to do XFX USB and just for safe measure we're going to do the same thing in Reaper and we're going to apply that so the first thing we want to do is set up our XFX to listen to Reaper so the first thing you want to do is you want to start a preset I have titled mine Mark 5 Tone Match and you're going to get the sound in Axe Effects as close as you possibly can to what you're going for. So I've used the USA Pre-Lead 2, which is a Dry-Axis model inside the Axe Effects, since we're trying to match the Mesa Boogie in the Mark IV mode. And what you're going to do, you're going to get the sound as close as you can on here, and this is the settings that I've come up with to get it as close as I possibly can. And we're going to shut the cabinet off and insert a tone match block right after. So you've got two things here, reference and local. Reference is what's going to be listening to your DAW or the recorded guitar track that we did up here. And local is what is going to, you're going to be playing through the Axe Effects. It's going to sound like crap, but you're going to be playing through the Axe Effects here in a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to your DAW. And we're just going to start playing this guitar track. Remember, this is a guitar track. Go back into Axe Edit, turn on Reference, and just let it listen. So after you've let that listen, I would let it go for the whole time. We're going to go back in here. We're going to pause that, and we're going to arm the track that your Axe Effects is playing through. Go back into Axe Edit, turn on Local, and just start playing as close to the same thing as you played in this recorded guitar track. Now you don't have to record right now, just have to have the Axe Effects actually listening to your guitar. So now you want to be plugged into the Axe Effects rather than into the amplifier. So after you've played that for a little bit, I would say close to the same amount of time, you'll see these curves kind of change with it. Shut that back off, hit match. That should do it. You can go into, and I have gone into adjust and I've taken out just a little bit of the match signal to bring in the original signal back in a little bit to get rid of some of the low end it did match with a little bit too much low end but that's all it took to get rid of it and I should also mention that when it is referencing when you're playing this guitar track into the Axe Effects you want to make sure you change your reference source to USB rather than an actual input. Alright, after that you should be good to go. You can delete this. I'm going to go back to the beginning of my project here. Let's switch my preferences back. And 
let's listen to some clips. The first clip here, these two guitar tracks are the X-Effects. These two are the Mesa Boogie. Let me know what you think. <laughs> 